Glad you're with us for another edition of the $30,000 Candlefin Challenge on the Comcast Network. Scene 8, we're all set for the championship match. Craig Holbrook, the seven-time champ to go first, looking for a record-tying eighth in a row. This week, he must defeat John Bird, who just won that Challengers match over Jeff Montagna by a final of 124-110. Well, there you go. Jeez. John Bird, meet the champion. I've seen a lot of streaks in my days and people that are bowling well. But I'll tell you, these last seven weeks for consistency, I got it. My hat's got to go off to Craig Holbrook. And the funny my. thing is, during the, the break that preceded the start of this match, he, he warmed up and looked awful. Yeah, yeah. Well, don't waste any. <laughs> there you go, spare on strike. In case you were wondering if I'm still around, Craig says, well, here I am. I've thrown three balls now, and I've got two marks. <laughs> Not John to be Bird. outdone, John Bird. Nothing to say about it. Light hit there, but he keeps a lot of pins in play, and you can see the damage it does. Finally, the 9 and 10 for his strike, looking for the double. Just as good. Wait a minute, still falling. Eight go. Got the nine eight, pin. Yeah, eight and nine. I can't tell from this angle if that wood will cover the eight pin or not. Let's see. It does. Matching the spare, strike and spare put up by Craig. Okay, uh, in case you were wondering if I'm around, John says, <laughs> oh, I am. <laughs> you can see Craig leading that top three. The best total of the season, 295. Leaves the 4 7 six, ten. That's a fill of six. Boy, he almost converted that. I'll tell you, he's pretty sharp. Ten box moves him to 46. Told us at the start of the taping, this being the fourth taping of the day, that he normally gets stronger as he bowls more. So we should see some of the best of his bowling. <laughs> Another strike. True to his word. Well, again, folks, this isn't uh, the replay we're using week after week. These are new <laughs> ones. This is like carbon copy. They all look the same. Now John Bird on the spare. Right back in the pocket. And will he get the strike? He does. Three in a row for John Bird. Grabs the early lead by four. Just needed something to hit that five. And he gets double. a double! Wow! Four boxes, three strikes, so go for the triple when he steps back up. This is reaction for that double strike. <laughs> 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 Terrific emotion, not a Craig. Eight go. Oh, well, it's makeable spear, the one and the four. He's had more difficult ones than this, but obviously either the head pin or the ball has to ricochet off and carry that four pin. Yeah. Like that. <laughs> wow. And if you hear that female voice as you see that replay in the background, that's Joanne Rosano, one of the big uh, supporters of Craig Holbrook, one of the finest women candle pin bowlers going. Joanne Rosano. Oh, my! This is something else. Oh. Is this sweet or what? Here it is again, folks. Yes, another one of those replays. Uh, pin cam is getting tired. <laughs> now, though, the triple strike right. try. Right now, Craig has the only hold on that all. $1,000 of it. That looks good. A little light, maybe, in the 1-3 pocket.
two, four, five, seven for a spare on strike. No. There's a 19 pin advantage. Well, that's going to, some of it's going to disappear because Craig has already thrown spare and strike on it. That's a nine pin advantage for our, cha uh, for our challenger, John Bird. Facing a strike, though, put up by our champ. Oh, and he matches gets it, it, matches it. Wow. Let's, let's cool him off a little bit, John. <laughs> let's go to a break. <laughs> wild note, we'll look at the replay first. Incredible back and forth between these two. We're going to catch our breath back with the finish of game one right after this on CNA. 